Make sure you remind me of what I wanted to tell you when you were back. We graduated. I met one lady that introduced to me what make me all what I am today. He is the firstborn of the great Lucifer. God forbid bad thing. That can never happen to me. I have come today with my sacrifice. Take your sacrifice and leave here this minute. Please, don't do that. I said leave and expect run down in your business. Please Lord, I have come to ask for forgiveness. I have been facing run down in my businesses. There is no forgiveness or way out except you are ready to donate your womb. I am ready. Okay then, you can go now. Thank you sir, Lord Makala. Wouldn't you let me be? This guy. Why are you disturbing my life? I gave you a life-saving advice, and you chose not to follow. I am very sorry for my first response. So, what is it this time? The last time you came, you told me that you were not interested. I have come to do what you ask me to do. Are you serious? I think you are joking. You are ready to be rich. You are ready to be among the leaders. You are ready to be known among the very important personalities. This is not a joke. Though, at first, I am not happy with it. But I see that I need to do it, because there is no hope of survivor. Okay. Now that you have made the decision, go to your house and wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, you will have to spend the night here. Alright, that is not a problem. Thank you ma. But, I don't have anything to do in the house. Maybe I should just stay here till tomorrow. Okay now. Have you eaten? No, I have not eaten anything today. Go to the kitchen and make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I'm sure you are okay you don't need anything. Yes. But, the only thing I needed is more information about what I want to do. This journey that I want to embark on. When we get there tomorrow, you will have enough information. The most important thing is that you follow all the Lord's command. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome to our community. Welcome now, and welcome forever. What do you want me to do for you? I want wealth in abundance. That is not a problem, in as much you can pay the price. What price? I will pay. First, these are the things you need, to be part of our community. A three-year-old boy from your family, and one of your toes. That is not a problem, Lord. Okay. You can go, till you get it. Thank you, Lord. So, how did it go? I am not interested again, because... I cannot kill a human being. He told me that I need a three-year-old boy from my family, and one of my toes. You just need to be bold. You need to do it, because there is no way out. Once you step into the kingdom, you cannot just go like that. I don't think I am interested again. Because, how will I even get a three-year-old boy from my family? That is not a problem. There are many boys out there that I normally use for that kind of thing. Put your mind at rest. Hello, Pastor. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. I will try. Bye, sir. I saw something serious when I'm praying this morning, and it is about you. Brother Daniel, you need to be careful. According to what I saw, Satan wanted to gain your life. I saw you heading into the fire. Please, my brother, if there's something you are doing, or about to do that is not in line with the Word of God, you need to withdraw. Please hell is real. Thank you very much sir. May God help me. Amen. And make sure you are praying always. Or is there anything I need to know? Please tell me. If you need advice on anything. There is nothing sir. Alright. Let's pray before you go. How do I go about it now? What is the next thing? Dan, in order not to waste time, I have gotten what the Lord Makala has you to bring. How? How did you do it? Remember I told you that I have many boys working for me? Yes, you said so. I just gave them the information of your one of your uncle Matthew, ordered them to kidnap his three-year-old boy, Samuel. And put your mind at rest, they always do clean job. 
There will be no traces. Ha! Huh. It is not easy to get something from Satan. Samuel will be killed, just because I want to get wealth. I am not comfortable with this kind of life. Stop thinking like that. If you want to be rich in this world now, you need to be brave and even a bit heartless. Heartless? Yes. Just forget about that, let's talk about how you will get to the community and tender your sacrifice. Okay. This is sad. Why this? The door is not locked, you can come in. Good afternoon, Ma. I heard about what happened. Thank you. He just went out to play, and since then till now, we haven't seen him. Don't cry, just put your mind at rest. I am very sure that he will be found, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope so. What about Uncle Matthew? He went to report at the radio and television station, to report about the incident. I just know that the Lord will take control. Yes! Now that you have donated what it takes to be part of us, it is now time to bring what it takes to be rich and wealthy. And they will want you to listen attentively. These are the things you need. Why are you so dull? What is the problem? I cannot continue this journey. The demand is too much, than what I can bear. But, don't forget that you are going to die, if you... Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, and share. Drop your comment. And if you have not subscribed, please do, and click the bell then select all, so that you will get all notification from this channel. Once we drop new content, YouTube will let you know. Thank you. God bless you. And don't forget that. Jesus loves you.